what is up guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while since i posted something um so just quick update on the rsx i no longer own the carbon fiber hood i actually went ahead and sold it to one of my buddies um he gave me his stock hood and with latches and hood exhaust for my carbon fiber hood and cash on top so i brought the car home a few days ago uh getting ready to work on it but right now the weather here is real bad I don't know if you guys can see, the inside is a fucking mess. But yeah, currently waiting on weather to get a lot better. So I could go ahead and start working on it. But let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm actually going to be doing today. And just Okay, so the entire time I was planning on going K24 on the RSX. But... I didn't really want to deal with everything, you know, the process and all that. So I actually went ahead and did a K20 Z1 stock bottom block head. It just has valve train, ARP studs, upgraded head gasket, you know, the works, you know. And my buddy Ben, shout out to Ben. He's the reason why my car is going turbo. I went ahead and I sold my Sheepy Race intercooler. And I actually went ahead and picked up his intercooler and intercooler piping. It's a full race with two and a half inch piping. We got my trans back already. Trans is getting ready to go back onto the motor. Right now they're curling the motor sitting on a vein engine stand, which the purpose of that is to, when I mount it into the car, it's sitting at the correct angle to make everything a lot easier to mount up. I have my Sidewinder manifold and just waiting on a couple more parts to arrive. Like I have my full K2 three inch exhaust, which I'll go over like my turbo setup in the next couple videos. But today, what I'm actually going to end up doing is we're actually going to be painting and degreasing my motor because this thing is a fucking mess. Look at it. Yeah, there's no way that's going into the car like that. So what we're going to end up doing right now is I'm going to remove my K-Tune post mount pulley. And let me go and show you guys what I actually ended up buying in order to get the motor looking right. So I went down to Harbor Freight bought me some extra wire brushes i have a set already but they're pretty beat up and then i ended up getting this masking tape the blue one isn't really working for me so i actually ended up changing it up um this one should work pretty good i'm going to let you guys know exactly how good this one is and then i bought this little plastic bag so i could go ahead and cover the head on the motor since it is exposed i don't have no valve cover waiting on my valve cover and a couple of the parts to come back from powder coating so we're going to end up doing this and then this is the color that i actually ended up going with you know oem silver high heat focus yeah so we're going to actually end up running this about three cans which should be enough you know the three cans should be enough to cover my motor and my trans but today we're just going to end up doing the motor oh shit! so let me go ahead and you know remove the stuff and start masking off everything i'm gonna do a quick time lapse and then i'll go ahead and check back in once we get most of the sensors and stuff masked off
don't know if you guys could see it. That shit's dirty as hell. But I did a pretty okay job of wrapping everything up. I should be good on this side. If not, I'll go get masking tape right now. I'm just going to clean it. You know, with the wire brush and all that. But pretty much I did all the sensors. Head's pretty much blocked off. And like a few other little things. I'll add some extra tape right there. Oil filter doesn't matter because it's going to come off. But let's start with the front side. And bust out the industrial degreaser. And do a time lapse of that too. Okay, so using the pressure washer was a fail. I'm kind of afraid of getting, you know, water inside of the engine. But so far, the front side is drying off. There's no big oil spots. I'll probably go over, like, all the little ones that bug me. If not, it's okay. I mean, this is the first time I ever do this, so I should be all right. But right now, we're currently working on the back. This is what it looks like. The back is a little bit worse. I haven't rinsed it off. I'll probably... You know, after I'm done using the rest of this degreaser, I'll fill it up with water, you know, and spray it off like that. Instead of using high, you know, pressure, I don't want to get water inside the motor. But so far, you know, I had I broke one wire brush, which is pretty whack, but I got backup. So let me go ahead and continue tackling this, and then I'll show you guys what the rest looks like. Okay, guys, so I pretty much got impatient and decided to lay out first coat. And the front side was still a little bit wet but i mean it doesn't really matter it doesn't gotta be perfect no show car shit just as long as it looks a little bit better than what it was that's the front side the back side's looking real cool i mean you can see where it's sometimes you know where it was running but oh well right now it's really cold so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait till tomorrow morning since it's my day off. And I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, wait till this dries and lay one coat and then lay another and then call it a day. But I'll go ahead and check back in tomorrow and then hopefully, you know, this thing doesn't come out too bad. Actually, I don't think it should, but we'll see. All right, guys, what is up? It is currently like two days later. It hasn't stopped raining here in California, man. We finally got a sunny ass day. So right now, I know I said I was gonna show you guys when I was actually painting the block, but actually, you know, sometimes when you work on your car, you just say you're gonna do it. So I went ahead and just started on it. Um, you know, there's certain areas where it's not the best. I could have done a better job cleaning it, but you know, some of that stuff wasn't coming out, but I mean, I mean, it doesn't look too bad, you know? It looks pretty good. I did the side. The back is pretty much done. It looks pretty good. I mean, the block, you're not gonna be able to see it because it's being covered, you know, by the turbo setup and all the other good stuff, but um, I might just go ahead and do a couple more coats on the engine just so, you know, I don't make sure I don't miss any spots. But right now we're actually going ahead and doing the transmission. So this is currently what the transmission looks like. Uh, I dropped it off to my tuner and he actually went ahead and did the LSD install into my transmission. LSD is a must for going turbo. So right now what I'm doing is taping everything up and I don't know if you guys can see like all the extra metal and stuff like that. And with the wire brush I'm going over it just trying to get, you know, get it done. Right now what I'm actually going to end up doing is going to flip the transmission on its, you know, face it downwards and finish doing all that. 
and then once I do, I'll go ahead and check back in right before we start painting and we'll do before and after on the transmission for sure. Okay, so I got the trans pretty much cleaned up. Um, there's a bunch of dust from, you know, whatever I peeled off. So in case you don't got, you know, a compressor with the little, you know, thing to blow air, you bust out the leaf blower. Super bootleg, but it works. looks good I think it's ready to get painted all right time to flip it on its side and get it prepped go over any missing spots on the sides and stuff like that but I mean overall I mean don't mind my masking that's bootleg as fuck too everything's bootleg fuck this car but I'll get it running though all right let's go okay so I pretty much I did like a real light coat at the bottom because you're never gonna be able to see it and even though right here you can see like little rough patches like different shades it's all pretty smooth so i'm just gonna say fucking and just paint it like this so this is the before
what is up guys currently a few days later currently editing the video um and i noticed that i didn't even record an outro so here it is i hope you guys enjoy today's video i actually got my toolbox my toolbox back a few days ago um you know so now i can finally start working on the car so the other day i actually went ahead and started piecing together the motor I need to separate the alternator still you know clean it up make it look at least good and then i got my manifold finally mounted my titanium studs came in i just went ahead and decided to throw them on and let me know what you guys are trying to see on the channel I'm gonna start posting more now that the car is back um last night you know quarantine can't really do much so i decided to take apart my ac trim and cut it open to fit my gauges right here um if you guys would like to see a video on this not the whole wiring because the wiring i don't do wiring um, I'll probably just have someone do it for me, but you know all the like the little small stuff, you know Let me know what you guys are trying to see and you know as always subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching